everybody, this is DynacoBlue43. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we shall be taking a look at the 2013 addition to the Neon Racer series, Neon Racer Frosty. He was an exclusive for that year because every single part of these little miniature series for the World Grand Prix Racers, which contains of the Neon, Ice, Carbon, Carnival and Silver Racers all had a special Frosty with the exception of the Carnival Racers But all the other ones had a special Frosty to go along with it So obviously for the Neon Racers, we got a Neon Racer Frosty diecast released in 2013 or 2014 Don't know which exactly which year. I'm gonna say 2013 notes I think that was the year that the Neon Racers started coming out in stores you may think I actually got this from eBay. Obviously, I did not get this from a store, but I also did not get it from eBay. I actually got it from a guy on Facebook, so that's pretty well. Sometimes people do post some cars for sale on Facebook, and they are for amazing prices sometimes, too. And whereas cars I don't have, they are for amazing prices. I go at it, and I did exactly what I did with Neon Frost right here. was not able to get him, unfortunately, when he originally came out a part of the Disney Cars collection. So now I do have him in my collection. I'm reviewing him for you guys, so for all of my viewers to enjoy. Nonetheless, though, Let's go right into the view a review of this car. I'm going to do a quick preview of him in the package. Then we're going to unbox him. Then review him loose, obviously. So as you guys can see, right here, you can see the Frosty in the inside. Right there, it's pretty nice right there. Frosty's in white text. You can see the art, which also has Frosty with all the neon designs on him. I really like how Mattel put that effort right there. Neon Racers, Disney Pixar Cars, Exclusive Metallic Deco. And I really do like the card backs of these guys. Probably one of my favorites, honestly. I just love all the neon looks to these guys. On the back, as you guys see, we only have a picture of Frosty himself, no other cars, even though there were other Neon Racers released this year. We also have a nice little bio right here. Want to pause me at that? If you like, you may go ahead. All right, enough talking, and let's unbox Neon Racers Frosty. Here we have Frosty Loose, looking fantastic, I love the neon paint job on him, looks very nice, we will obviously be comparing him to the regular Frosty that was released a part of 2012 as a Super Chase, one of the first ever Super Chases, he was released in the year that the Super Chases first started coming out, that's the only version of him we will be comparing to, because the only other Frosty I do have loose, I do also have the Silver Racer Frosty right here, this will be a future review, I don't have him loose unfortunately, so I cannot review him along with the Neon Frosty right here, but I promise when I do review Frosty with Silver Finish, we will definitely compare him to the Neon as well as the regular version of Frosty. Nonetheless, though, let's get this stuff out of the way and get right into the review of Neon Frosty. So as we zoom in right here, as you guys can see, he has a very determined expression, actually, which is a different expression from the normal Frosty. This one kind of looks more, I guess you could say, shocked or confused about something. When this one, he looks more determined, and I like how they did change his expression because sometimes Mattel is kind of lazy on changing characters' expressions whenever they have variations. Definitely with the Neon Racers for World Grand Prix Racers, but for this one, they actually did change Neon Frosty's expression, which is very nice. Of course, he is the Australian racer for the World Grand Prix. He did not appear in the actual version of Cars 2, but he just appeared in the Australian version. We'll talk more about that later on. But as we get into more of his detailing, we can see the Australian flag. And the shape of the logo on the hood is actually the Australian country and the shape of it in real life. And it just has the Australian flag on it. I love it. It looks great. You can see the headlights right there with the grill, which is supposed to represent mustaches in the Cars universe. His blue eyes, the flat eyelids, a nice black outlining around the windshield. He just has red rims. So I do like, I think the red rims do give a nice contrast to this die cast. We do have the rear view mirrors right here, which are not actually a part of the mold. It's just plastic itself. We have the Australian flag again on the side right here. Also right here, you can just see the red stripes with the nice, very thin yellow, or not yellow, white lining on the thick red right there. Very nice. Same on this side. Obviously, his windows are pretty basic, nothing too special there. We also do have some white stars on each side, very nice. That is shown on the Australian flag right there. You can do see some stars right there, very, very nice. Now, on the hood right there, you can kind of see, like, where it transforms from this kind of, like, goldish yellow to this very dark blue. This little white line right here basically separates the two colors, and it goes into, like, a little bit of a squiggle right here. Kind of looks like a beach wave, if you ask me. I like how it's not straight. It gives it a nice design. Have a 
couple of stars on the hood right there. He does not have a number for the World Grand Prix. It's because he's not actually in the World Grand Prix. He's only in the Australian version of the movie, replacing Jeff Gravett at the Tokyo party. I will try to find a picture and put it up on the screen right now in the upper right hand corner. Show how that Tokyo party scene went out without Jeff Gravett and instead get replaced by Frosty in the Australian version of the movie right here on the screen. The spoiler right here is pretty nice as well. Pretty basic though, nothing on it at all. Not even on the sides, no detailing. There's a plain spoiler and it does have the exact same spoiler obviously as the one on the regular die cast. Doesn't even have anything really neon fight on it, if that's even a word. But as you guys can see, the regular Frosty actually does have silver on the sides, like the little wing parts of the spoiler. That's gone on the neon frost, which I do, which I do see as kind of a downgrade. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I think that's the only thing I'm about to complain about this car. And of course, on the back right here, we have his tail lights and the Australian flag again on the bumper right there is very, very nice. His main colors are this dark blue and this gold yellow that is shown on the front of him right there. Very nice. Obviously, his rims do roll very, very well as presented right now. Here's a base right there for anyone who is interested. That's pretty much it for Neon Frosty right here. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison with these two Frosties. Obviously, you can see this one right here, which has a lot more of a brighter yellow finish on it. This one has a lot more of like a goldish yellow finish, almost toward a bronze color, obviously, to fit the neon theme. Everything is a lot more lightened up. Everything is a lot stands out a lot more on the neon version than the regular version. They both do look very very, very nice though. Amazing additions to your Disney Cars collection if you ask me. Right now, let me know in the comments section down below, which one do you prefer, regular Frosty or Neon Frosty? I gotta go with regular Frosty just because just the normal version, and I do kind of like the bright colors. These are more of like a darker version of the color that Frosty has. Neon Racer is still nice. I know I said how much I love the detailing on Neon Frosty, but I think overall, I think I'm gonna have to go with the regular Frosty. May even be my favorite Frosty. I don't know, it depends on how much I like the carbon and and Ice Racer versions of Frosty when I acquire them one day. And also let me know if you do have Frosty here, any version of Frosty. Before this year, I actually did not have a single Frosty variation other than the regular version. But this year, I've been able to acquire two more, Neon Frosty and the Silver Frosty, which, like I said, will be a future review. This one I actually did get off of eBay, so not a Facebook guy, but this one I did get off of eBay. This review, like I said, will be coming out in the near future. Looking forward to that myself. I'm always excited to record brand new videos for you guys. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Let's wrap with this video right now. Let's bring in the Silver Frosty as well. A little sneak peek to a next review. I know I said that a couple of times, but just to reiterate. Anyway, hope everyone hit it and watch. Enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for your crazy support recently. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the Neon Frosty? Which was today's diecast review. He got the spotlight today. Thank you for coming, Neon Frosty. And I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out. See you later.